From Hairspray on Broadway to 7th Heaven on television, our next guest is a fan favorite and a favorite around here as well. And today she's in our Aww, kitchen making nice. baked brie <gasps> with a holiday mocktail so perfect good. for entertaining this holiday season. Please welcome back the amazing Haley Duff. Thank welcome you. back, Haley. Thank you. I love coming to cook with you guys. Oh my gosh, you are it's so my fantastic. Show to come to. I swear oh, so much fun with you every day. Yeah. We love you. Everybody at home loves you as well. Thank you. Debbie, Kim, and Larissa love you especially. Oh, by the way, they're like, we love you. Tell you what we love. <laughs> this is what we love. This is amazing. I mean, obviously, around this time of year, we get a lot of unexpected guests, right? And you yes. say that this is something that we can actually whip together pretty easily. And by the way, it doesn't look like it, so you get a lot of bang for the buck. Well, that's the thing I love about this is I love something that looks really beautiful, really decadent, and ooey and gooey and gorgeous, mm. and it looks like it took you a long time, yeah. but it didn't because I have kids clawing at me all day. Mom, 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 I need a snack. I want to watch a show, blah, blah, blah. So... I need to put something together in like five minutes. <laughs> that looks really impressive. Mm -hmm. I was saying I get a mini skillet. Earlier mm -hmm. too, so we got a skillet. We have a whole wheel of brie, and I know that's going to go in there eventually. But I, I, yes. I may never make anything oh, okay. at home that my wife appreciates more than By if way, I make it's this. It's very so chick good. friendly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're gonna yeah. Yeah. love it. I feel like this is freak out. this is I'm like an appetizer so for good. the ladies mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. So what's the first thing we need to do with our wheel of brie? Very simple. You get a nice little wheel of brie here. I like a like a double cream. I mean, really. Anything that you get at the grocery store is going to be fine. Okay. And Very you're going to just score across the top. How deep in there? I don't go all the way through. Okay. I keep the bottom of the rind intact, but you, you'll feel it. It's about an, maybe three quarters of an inch okay. down. As long as you're not going all the way through and cutting it in, in pieces, kind of thing. By the way, you can. You okay. can cube it oh. and pile them up. I mean, it really, there's no wrong way to do it. Excellent. I just kind of. And like this, this. Does this allow it to kind of open up and melt a little bit once we bake it? Is that the idea of exactly. the score? Exactly. Okay. Right. Well, what it will do is it'll give the cheese the opportunity to come through the slices. You know what I'm enjoying right now as you're cutting? I'm enjoying watching the family I hear like a little like <laughs> And they're <laughs> trying to we crunch the bread without oh. making too much noise. Yeah. Debbie's like, <gasps> I know. <laughs> it's so good. So good. So this okay. is very simple. You just kind of open it up like that. And then I like to kind of do this. <gasps> oh. right? like a flower. Yeah. Wow. That is very And this satisfying. is where we're going to stuff all of our figs and our fig jam. Okay. Oh. And then when it bakes, all that ooey gooey cheese is going to come out from the inside. Beautiful. So we've got some figs. Yes. Fresh figs, dried figs. What do you recommend? You can use either. Okay. Um, I like a fresh fig, I like a dried fig. Here, you're gonna help me put these in. I this am. is I like am Christmas morning. But mm -hmm. I like a dried fig because they're available all year long. You can buy them in almost any grocery store. Mm. You know, they're very easy to keep in your pantry. Mm. And I really kind of. They're a little go to. I really get that so there's no real finessing there. We just mash them in. That's what Mash them on in there. Because I'm tell not you what. doing it as delicately as you. Yeah, and no, I just kind of sure put them on okay. in. Later. Okay, good. The combination oh. of fig and cheese is perfection. Right. It's nicer. Mm. Well, you know what? I thought about this appetizer because every time I eat a cheese plate, I go for the brie and then I go for the fig jam. I was like, what if you just melted them all together? genius. And I really love adding a little citrus into okay. the fig because sometimes the fig mm. can be a little too sweet, sweet. a little overwhelming. So, so we have a little orange zest? Cuts it a little orange bit. zest. Okay. Okay. And this is just going to go right into that fig jam. You just sort right. of gently wow. mix it You know it the in problem there. with this? You you'll eat never, the whole you'll pan. never eat dinner your meal. Yeah. because you'll get it's you'll true. want this. It's so you know good. If you're having like a couple friends over mm. and you don't want to make a whole dinner, this, this is, is a very it. filling mm -hmm. appetizer oh, right. with a nice little appetizer. cocktail or a mocktail, yeah. you know. Or main dish. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. There you go. So then you're just gonna put a few little dollops across here. I got you. And then it's gonna go into the oven and then at from 350. Here, we put it right into the oven at 350 for yeah. about how long would you say? 15, 20 minutes. Like okay. not not a crazy amount of time. You can kind of keep an eye on it. Um, depending on what kind of brie you have, it'll start getting softer faster. Very good. Okay. And I will let you put that in there. I'm here. kind of doing it in the wrong order, taking this out. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. There, there we really go. Look at what we create. Really gorgeous. Look at that. Do you want to do a little garnish on the top? Let's yeah. do a little garnish on the For top. Me, what would you recommend? For me, what makes this beautiful is the texture and a little pop of green. That kind of makes me feel like holiday. Yes. Mm. So I love a little crust, crushed pistachio on the top. Okay. Wow. And some thyme. Mm. Wow. Well, and I'm so you let me do that? Boop, 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 right okay. on top. Uh, I like pistachio. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little go. extra. I'm gonna go a little. I'm gonna go a little Haley. crazy with the pistachios. You can't go too crazy for me. I like do it. Do you happen to have any family traditions that you're looking forward to? We do. We have. We we try to really do quite a few tra family traditions in our household. Um, one of them is my grandmother's stuffing for Thanksgiving. Oh. Sometimes we make it again for Christmas. Um, my mom oh. has always been the one in charge of making that every year. 
And uh, last year I finally got her to sit down with me and teach me how to make it because mm. every year that I've tried to make it, She's little. left out some ingredients. <laughs> oh, that's her move. That Tell you what we're gonna do. You know, moms yes. do that. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, well, I guess you have to come to my house to yeah. eat the right way. <laughs> I'm like, I guess that's I so will. Smart. I'm gonna continue yes. eating this. Tell us about this great mocktail this that you have going delicious. on. This is delicious. So I love a mocktail during the yeah. holidays because. Yeah, you want First to have an alternative. I don't want to have so many cocktails. I There's know. a lot of holiday parties to go to. Yeah. Too much alcohol. And so, it's not great for your skin. Your puffy really eyes. Not. And aren't we all worried about that now? Exactly. I feel like we are. So I love this because it's very simple. It's some okay. Pellegrino water. Oh. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have some there. good facts about Pellegrino oh, water. I do. I'll give you all the facts, but it's got great magnesium and calcium in there, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to. <laughs> oh, my God. All the things. I didn't know So it has a little pear. Pear, pear juice. juice? Just some pear juice. You wow. can buy this in a bottle in a can at the right. grocery store. Thank a little you. rosemary simple syrup. Oh. You can use this for so many things during the holidays. Another How thing I love that? to do, pour it over vanilla ice cream with a little sea salt. Ooh. Ooh. Amazing, this is amazing a game dessert. Changer. How much of that do you put in? A little tiny splash. Just a like, little splash. Because oh, that's, that's pretty it. sweet, right? How do you make it's it? It's very sweet, but you know what? It's not overpowering because the rosemary kind of cuts through the sugar. Beautiful. Oh, rosemary. We have rosemary coming up, too. Okay, good. How and then, you that, Haley? The so you melt down some sugar, some water, a few sprigs of rosemary, bring it to a boil, turn it off, let it sit 10 minutes, strain it, let it cool. Oh and then you can God. put it in the refrigerator and it's good It'll to go. It'll keep for weeks. That is yes. fun. Beautiful. It'll keep a long time. And then these Ooh. look really fancy when you do a little pear. And I ate my pear. A little rosemary. I mean, with the brie and the, the pear with pear. the brie and the figs. I Fabulous. Look, you're the best. It's look like you're this. having a cocktail. Love it. I mean, but you're not. Nice. Cheers. My cheers. 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 holiday cheers. party I've been to yes, so far. I love it. <laughs> yeah, she's so like, oh, please, <laughs> mocktail. Oh, you're what better. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Haley. Of course, you guys are with Haley on her Instagram, at Haley Duff. And make sure to grab these great recipes at HallmarkChannel.com.